Hey, my name's Adam Whiting, Assistant Game Director here at Build Rocket Boy, and I'm working on Everywhere. So it's a world of creativity and exploration and discovery underpinned by really high quality systems that hopefully inspire the next generation of games creators and world builders. Hi, my name's Leslie Benzies. I am the game director of Everywhere and Mind's Eye, founder of Build a Rocket Boy. Everywhere is a place where players can tell their stories, uh, where they can build their own world. There's shooting elements, there's driving elements, there's puzzles. Players can build UGC, take part in many different experiences, and they've got also play a AAA game called Mind's Eye. I think we're very much inspired by the real world and by changes we're seeing in, in society and culture. I think in particular the way that we interact with each other has changed over the past 10 years, particularly because of social media. And I think you can almost say that this is a reflection of that in terms of it's a space where you're able to be whoever you want to be. You're able to kind of share your experience with the people and bring them along for the ride. But you're also encouraged to be creative and kind of carve out your own niche part of this world for you and your friends to enjoy. We couldn't have done this 10 years ago. We just didn't have the tech, we didn't have the, the, the network and the infrastructures or the processes we used to do it. If we pitched this to people six years ago, they'd have thought we were crazy. In fact, some people did. But now they're actually seeing that it's come to life and it's a playable experience. And we think it's going to really surprise players and hopefully inspire them to be creative and, and do things and they never thought they'd be able to do within a game world. Tools, which we call Arcadia, they're a part of everywhere, so you don't have to jump to a separate executable to, to trigger them. We've built the platform with UGC in mind, so it's inherent to the games. When you look at, like, so a man where you pick up coins and Sonic, you pick up rings, for us, you actually pick up pieces of UGC that you can then go and build with. Arcadia, I think, is, is a really wonderful suite of creation tools that we're using internally to build content within the platform. I think that's really important. If you're using one set of tools and then giving a lesser subset of that to players, they immediately realize the limitations of the tool set they've been given. Whereas we want everything that players play within everywhere to serve as inspiration because they have the same tools that we use to build that experience. We tried to make them as free as possible. So we have no concept of a map or concept of a, a level. We just have a set of tools that you can kind of use it anywhere. Rather than a blank canvas, you're given something inspirational and then you can add to that. You can take away from that and rebuild part of that. Or you could just wipe it and make a blank canvas and start fresh if you wanted to. But at least you've got some inspiration in terms of what can be achieved within the platform. Um, but there's no limitations. That what we've already built isn't the upper limit of what can be done. It's just the, the tip of the iceberg. I'm really excited to see what players do when they go crazy with the tool that we know they will. So you could look at Utropia as the hub where you socialize, it's where you come into the games, meet up with your friends before you decide to go play the entertainment that you and your posse will like to. It's a place that you arrive in within everywhere and then you can use it as like a launch pad, jump into any other type of experience. Go and explore the, uh, the open world of the bio yeah. surrounding Utropia City. You can jump into the district buildings that curate specific types of content. Or you can jump into anything you want to through our portals or through invite some other players. But essentially that's the kind of foundation that you use to kind of experience all these other interesting kind of facets and, and gameplay experiences. It's a kind of place for players to have different types of experiences, the different types of content of different types. But within that, we want there to be really kind of flagship, tentpole, marquee experiences of really high quality. And Mind's Eye is, is certainly kind of like the, the first kind of marquee experience we're, we're going to be putting out there as a studio. Players can jump into to have a really immersive narrative different experience that perhaps kind of allows them to escape away from everywhere or the real world into a brand new, unique story. By virtue of the fact we're building Mind's Eye as well, we're building really high quality AAA systems that then we can bring into everywhere so that everything that's built within everywhere has that feeling of, of quality that feeling of love and craft and care that's been put into it when it comes to mind's eye as a full triple a experience and that's kind of barb's story we've got so some very creative people here and we need to we need our creative outlet so uh, we see that as our our piece of UGC. But we want that to be grounded and, and related to everything else that's happening in everywhere. So whilst ever you're having these types of experiences, you're still connected to your friends, you're still connected to the, the rest of the everywhere world, and then you can be pulled out of that experience into any other numerous experiences and back again seamlessly. So you can be playing a great part of the story, jump out, have a completely different experience, then resume exactly where you were as if you just hit the resume button on Netflix. The progression 
system of the game, the actual gameplay of, of everywhere it sits within the biomes. And then you've got these abstracted other areas, which we call arcs, and they're pieces of UGC content that, that we build and, and our players will build. And they're held separately from the, the main one. They're connected by virtue of the fact they're all part of this one ever-evolving, ever-changing world called Everywhere. And they're all connected, so using the same character and the same data to kind of traverse these different experiences. But they're not causally related or narratively related. You know, we were intentionally taking a very light touch with the narrative within the game because we want this to be a world where players have agency and they have freedom to infer their own stories and their own world building within this space. And we don't really know what they're going to do with it. And we really want to earnestly kind of move forward with them and help them build this world with us. If you were kind of able to take part in like a shared reality with other players of all different types, who had all different types of backgrounds, experiences and wants and needs, but they're all being fulfilled by the creative potential of one particular platform. I think that'd be a really exciting place to be. I think the way that people consume games has changed fundamentally. But I think now we all jump into different types of gameplay. We're all seeking that kind of thrill, that exhilaration of jumping into a new experience. And I think everywhere is perfectly tailored for that in terms of it's space you can come in perhaps to have one type of gameplay experience, but then there's many other opportunities that we're gonna kind of entice you with and um, that we've built, that our players have built, and we've got some exciting surprises in store as well. That there's a, a huge number of very creative people out there who've not been put down the, 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 the the tunnel of making video games who don't probably think in the same way that video game makers think. And with that, I think we're going to see some very unusual creative arcs where that we possibly thought were impossible to make. Not everything has to be kind of homogenized and made for the mainstream mass market. We want this to be a place where little niche communities can exist and, 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 and grow. Um, so that's something that I'm personally very excited about. But I think that also when people see how quickly and seamlessly they can transition between different types of experiences, whether they're gameplay, uh, you know, video, audio, uh, I think they'll be surprised at uh, the range of things they can do and how easy and seamless it is to kind of move between these different things. But I think the biggest surprise is going to be what the audience build, because once you give creation tools like this, creative tools that really allow people to do whatever they want to do, they're always going to like throw and surprise you with what they create. We, we, we see everywhere as a place to get lost, a place to, to, to go and, and and find things that you probably didn't think you were going to find. We want an everywhere play session to be like you know, going on YouTube, where maybe you go on there to watch one video, but then you get distracted by another video and another video, and before you know, you've gone down a black hole and, and you spent hours just clicking around. We kind of want it to be like that, but an interactive, immersive experience, where perhaps you come in because you saw one piece of gameplay or one thing that really appealed to you, but then as you're experiencing that, you see countless other opportunities to have fun on your own and with friends. And we invite you to come and enjoy as many experiences as possible. And if they don't already exist, you build it yourself. The purpose of our alpha test is more of an infrastructure test. The first people moving into this world are going to be able to check out our systems, allow us to do a lot of kind of testing at the back ends and all that kind of stuff. But they're also going to be kind of the intrepid explorers, the first into this brand new horizon, the first people to experience the tools and be able to build some really cool content with them. So there's going to be some great gameplay already in there. There's modes and gameplay and content and experiences that we've built and already some stuff that the players have built but we're really excited to see what this first wave of players build. Most excited for players to make things that we have absolutely no idea would be even possible within the tools. To see what players build and how they want to shape the world. The world belongs to them and we want them to shape it. So long term, it's also to see where they take this world. And we'll be really paying attention to what they say and what they think and what they feel about everywhere. And we'll certainly be taking that feedback on and, and adapting the world accordingly, as ultimately, we've always envisaged everywhere being a world that belongs to the players. And this is our first opportunity to demonstrate that. We're keen for everybody to get involved. You know, like I said, this is a game that's been built from the very beginning with people like you sat at home watching this video right now in mind. Um, so I implore you, please come to everywhere.game, sign up for the alpha. We're very excited to hear player feedback. Time for a new world. Let's build it together.